Okay guys, what's up? So we're back with some more Hollow Knight content. And today, I'm going to be teaching you this ultra secret strat. This super special, it's not that good. It's not that good, you guys. But, okay. So basically, this is going to be how to cheese the pure vessel. If, you've, if you're having trouble with this fight, you know, it, it's it's really difficult, honestly. Um, It's definitely, there's definitely a bit of a learning curve. Plus, uh, he's just very fast. I believe this boss has the, like, fastest reaction time, like, required to beat it. So, you know, if you're having trouble with this, this strategy should help you out. Uh, this isn't going to let you do it hitless. Uh, I have done it Ascendant with this strategy. Uh, yeah, Ascended, right? I've done this Ascended with this strategy. But it actually, uh, you're probably not going to end up doing this hitless. You can if you want. But there are some situations where this doesn't work. But basically, what this is going to let you do is ignore most of his uh, attacks and just opt for a single option. Right? That option being Sharp Shadow. Alright, so this charm is the best charm ever okay it is the best charm. i love it it's my favorite charm the other these other three charms are just for damage basically you want to get you want to get the fight done with as quickly as possible so you don't have to you don't have to worry about like the, the rare few opportunities where this doesn't work but what you're gonna end up doing is you're just gonna sharp shadow through all of his attacks i believe each and every one of his abilities can be countered with either sharp shadow like just sharp shadow or sharp shadow and a descending dark so right there, yep. Except for that one, yeah. So there, there are obviously a couple situations where this doesn't work. Uh, number one is going to be that descending move, but you also have a descending move of your own, which is a uh, descending dark, and you're going to use that for the invincibility frames. You actually don't have to heal through this fight that often because even though he does stagger a lot, you're probably not going to end up getting hit too much. But yeah, I mean, you can just descending dark for ninety percent of his attacks. Aside from yeah. That right there, that's one of them. Uh, if you run out or uh, you stagger him while he's a uh, while you're dashing through him, it can fuck you up. But other than that, I don't think there's a single ability that can't be countered with either the combination of uh, descending dark, or sorry, the combination of sharp shadow and descending dark, or you know, you know, enough, or just straight up just a sharp shadow. So yeah, um, uh, okay, okay, that that one's on me, you guys. And where's my keys? Okay, there we go. Never mind. Never mind. We're back. We're back. I accidentally let go of the keyboard for a second there. I forgot where I was going. Uh, so yeah, you you definitely have enough time. But what this is going to let you do is you don't have to worry about any of his moves. You can just react to them with just you, you just have to sharp shadow. Uh, you crank your damage to the max. You should have the max nail upgrade, max health. But yeah, it, it's really really effective and it works supremely well in Pantheon Five and uh, Pantheon Four. If you have trouble with this. Um, yeah, uh, if you want, you want, what I do is I usually trade out Shaman Stone because you're not going to be hitting him with, like, most of the damage of Descending Dark. It's mostly just for the invincibility frames, but, yeah, I mean, this is a pretty easy way to cheese the fight. You don't really have to worry about it if you got, uh, this charm build. Uh, I, and if you're thinking, does this work without Sharp Shadow? It can. You definitely can Sharp Shadow, or regular Shade Dash through a lot of his attacks, but the problem being is it's not long enough and you miss out on a lot of damage. Because, again, like... You need to react pretty quickly, uh, but with with this, all you really do is you just you you look where, where is he, and then you just dash in his direction. It works on ninety percent of his attacks. Worst comes to worst, you also descending dark after that. But yeah, unless you stagger him while he's going through you, or you don't have enough soul to perform a descending dark, this works ninety percent of the time. But yeah, uh, hopefully you guys found this useful. I tried to keep it short and sweet. But uh, yeah, if you did find it helpful, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Other than that, uh, Absolute Radiance is next. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you guys how to cheese him, but he, it's a pretty fun fight, actually. But yeah, I'll, I'll get that to you guys sometime soon. Bye.